Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos uh, figure here. So let's go over to packaging here. So first you get the Marvel Legends logo on top there. I mean, not Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends logo right here, and then Avengers Infinity War Endgame logo right there. Infinity Saga logo right there. Here is the side art of the Infinity Saga. So you get the Infinity Saga logo there. Avengers logo down there. Here is the bottom with that Avengers Endgame poster. Here's the side for Thanos if you guys want to pause and read that. And then Iron Man Mark 85 on that side there. And then here's the other side of the starter. And then on the top you get a Avengers Endgame logo there. Iron Man Mark 85. Thanos. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack these two open. Here is Mark 85 Iron Man out of package here. So let's go over the accessories since he has a crap load of them. So first off, we get these blast effects, which we have seen before with the nice light blue here where it gets a little more transparent uh, at the tip here. So that's nice. You get the peg there to put it in his hands. So you get two of those. And then you get two repulsor hands here. So same sculpt as the last Iron Man figure. And you get that peg there. Just pop it right in like that. Boom, that's how you use them. So you get two of those, or one for each arm there. And you get two fist hands there, which we've seen before with that nice gray lining around the uh, knuckles there. So that's nice. You get two of those. And then here we get this uh, force field effect here. Our, um, so if you couldn't tell, it kind of looks a little similar. Uh, this kind of looks like the same mold from the Iron Spider-Man and uh, Mark 52 pack from Infinity War for the, I believe, 10 year anniversary? No, I don't remember what type it was. Um, but yeah, so I think this is the same old, uh, but it's all transparent plastic with some blue in there. So that's nice. You get a little clip there to clip onto his arm. Like uh, he had it covering um, Hawkeye in the uh, end game movie when the Hulk was about to snap. So yeah, that's what it looks like there. And then you get this, um, his little, uh, the katana swords here. So you get the hands, uh, the handle here with some nice sculpting here. You get that nice blue edge on both sides there for the blades. So these are pretty cool. And then he has a uh, grip hand on him right now. So you just have them holding on to it. And yeah. And then you get the head sculpts here. So these are different head sculpts. You cannot use these head sculpts for any other figures. I think that's why, like I said, um, I think it was in my wish list video uh, from last year. Uh, where I said like they should do like a battle damage armor Iron Man. Which is, it's not completely da battle damaged. He has this face here which looks pretty accurate there he has that eyes he get the good t hair looks pretty accurate you get some black wash over it to give it some more depth so yeah and then you get this neck piece here with that little peg there which i'll show you guys how to do that but yeah good head sculpt um and then you get the helmeted head here so you get the one with like all the flesh there with the adam's apple there for tony stark but then this one for the neck it's actually his armor so yeah but the head sculpt for the helmet looks pretty good i like the gold that they used for it i like the gold a lot more i think from um i think it's a better gold than that they used from the last iron man figure from endgame and you get the gray detailing around the head there you get the white eyes so yeah that's the armored head sculpt, but that's all we got for accessories for him. So here is Iron Man up close. So yeah, here is his bow damaged head there. So you get some bruising, scrapes around the face there. One along the eyes. So this is about when he's about to, like before he snaps. Uh, not after he snaps. I thought they were going to do something where after, but then like, then the gauntlet would be destroyed, so... Yeah, so it's the same mold, but they add a little bit more detailing, I think. They used a little bit of a different red and uh, gold for this figure, I believe. I, we'll do a comparison for it. Um, but yeah, 
You get some red detailing on the shoulders, which I think weren't there in the last figure either. You get some blue lights on the shoulders there. You get a little bit of an extra blue tint around the edges of the arc reactor there, which he didn't end in the last figure. You get some gold legs there with some gray detailing there, which looks awesome. Gold shoulders, biceps with some gray detailing, red. And then for the hand here, you get the Infinity Gauntlet, or the Nano Gauntlet. So, yeah, you get the Mind Stone, Soul Stone, Reality Stone, Space Stone, Power Stone, and Time Stone. So the only problem that I have with this, yeah, you get the gray knuckles there, but in the movie, he had some gold along the edges there. Like, they got the sculpt and stuff, but they didn't paint it as I thought they would. Like, the mold looks great. It looks pretty accurate. They just didn't paint it. Which I get it why they didn't because of the edges were pretty small to get to. But I think they could have went the extra mile with this if they painted that gauntlet a little bit more with the details that he had in the movie. But yeah, the, but they had the stones in the right places and all. But the mold looks great too. They just I wish they painted a little bit more on that. And then here's the back, which I think this in the back side it has a little bit more detailing than the last figure too. And then the back of the legs, which I also think does too. You get the boots. Yeah. And then we'll go over the articulation for him. But he has a double ball joint for the head there. So you can look up that and down that far. He can look up that far. He can look left and right. So a lot of head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees there. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Bicep swivel double jointed elbows and i know it's a different i mean it's an old sculpt so that's why there's still those pins there which i don't have a problem with actually um wrists want to hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there uh he has a diaphragm joint there so you can go forward only that much backwards quite a bit you can go side side very little 360 rotation around there legs can kick out that far forward a little bit backwards none thigh cut double jointed knees almost butt kick uh ankles want to hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and then for the head here so you kind of i don't want to pop the actual head off you kind of want to grab it from the neck here kind of it's kind of like try to grab it like that and then boom so in the actual head sculpts I forgot to mention, they they have these like little engraves on the neck here, where you can see the Adam's apple. So you just want to plug that in. So let's go with the actual Iron Man head. So yeah, the Iron Man head has that little edge there, and there's a socket there for you to put, pop it in. Just pop it right in like that. Boom. And if you have the old figure uh, and can't really tell the difference between the two, here is a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of it here. So yeah, you can obviously tell the reds and golds are a little bit different. They're, so they used a little bit of a brighter red, which I think looks a little bit better. And then also the gold is a little bit different. Um, this one has like a more of a silver tint to it, whereas this one looks like it's pure gold. And then they look, it looks like they use like some gunmetal uh, silver or gray for the edges there for the detailing. Whereas this one has like a gunmetal, I mean, uh, like a, I don't know what to say. It's like a, this one looks like it's actually gunmetal, but it's not actually like silvery as this one is. Um, I feel like this one would be a good one to use for a battle damage. Iron Man suit. So yeah, here's a side look of it. And then like I said, I was right to the backs. Uh, this one has a little bit more detailing in it, whereas this one doesn't. Like you see the grays in the back of the thighs there. You get some of the grays in the uh, back there. And shoulders, you could definitely see there's a little bit of red on the shoulders there. And legs, there's not really much different there. Besides, well, obviously the colors are different, but still, same sculpts, but 
they just painted a little bit more, added a little bit more detailing. You see that they added gray for like the lower abs area there, whereas this one doesn't. It's just pure gold. They didn't add in the grays near in the ab plates though for that one, whereas this one does have the gray there. And then it looks like they might have taken away a little bit of gray there. Whereas this one has a little bit more in there. And then arc reactors, like I said, this one has a little bit more blue around the edges, whereas this one's just all white. This one doesn't have the lights on the shoulders there, whereas this one does. But yeah. Same sculpt, just a little bit of different paint job and a little bit more access accessories for this one. And here is Iron Man with some of his new accessories on him. And then here is Thanos, and you guys already know we got a bunch of uh, comparisons to do with this one now. So, let's go over the accessories here first. So, the big add-on here is his accurate sword, double-bladed sword here, where it has like the grip here, where it's like circular, with that nice sculpt there. And then you get this really nice blade here, which will also do a comparison with this blade that we got from, I believe, it was the Build-A-Figure, I believe. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is a way better sword. I like this one. Uh, it's way more accurate, and I love the sculpt on this one. But yeah, that's his double-bladed sword there. And we got a bunch of heads here, so... And then here we get some head sculpts for Thanos. We get three of them. So here we get this head sculpt with the helmet, which I think we've gotten the same sculpt before for the Build-A-Figure. Um, so yeah, you get the helmet here with some gold. You get some uh, gray detailing throughout the figure, or the sculpt there. You get the purple uh, skin tone. You get some chin sculpt there. He looks pissed with showing his teeth there. So yeah, and then here's the back. So yeah, that's one of the head sculpts there. You get another head sculpt here, which is one of him just smiling, which I think we might have another uh, build a figure with that one from the re uh, regular Infinity War one. I think it just might be repainted to be light purple. You get a little bit of scuff in there. And you get some like a little bit of a darker purple in the creases of his face there. But yeah. And you get a little bit of a more serious looking, not quite pissed, not quite happy looking. Uh, I think this might be, I think they just reused head sculpts, except they added one new one, which we'll see here in a second. But yeah, I think this one we've gotten before. Uh, we will see here in a bit though, you get a little bit of scuffing there. I'm not quite sure if that's, yeah, that's scuffing. And yeah. And then we get an extra hand here, which is for the nano gauntlet with all the stones in it. I wish they, re wish they painted it a little bit more, like I said, with the Iron Man figure. So you get the Mind Stone, uh, Soul Stone, Reality Stone, Power Stone, I mean, not Power Stone, Space Stone, Power Stone, and Time Stone. They should have painted it a little bit more, added a little bit more detail, make it a little bit more worth, than what, uh, add in a little bit more so that way we get our value into it. Because this figure, these, this two back was about, like almost 60 bucks, I believe, if I remember. So yeah, I wish to add a little bit more detailing in the figures or, I mean, the gauntlets at least. I think you might be able to switch gauntlets with the Hulk. I'm not quite sure. We'll test it out here in a little while though. But yeah, that's all we got for accessories for him. So here is Thanos. So for this head sculpt here, this is the brand new one. So this is him dusting away. You get some scrapes on his noses there, across his lip. Get some gray detailing for the dust look there. Get faded away in the wind there on the top of his head. Here and all that stuff. And then here's his armor all damaged. And then it looks like it's about to get dusted too. Here's the back side of it. Yeah, you get some scrapes around it. You get some scrapes around the armor there. This one, you get a little bit more of a shoulder pad, whereas this one is like gone. More gray around there. You get the skirt piece here. And then you get the arm around the legs. You get some like gear looks on the hips. You get a little bit of marbling there. And you get the shin guards, knee guards there with some gray boots with some gray detailing on the toe area close to it. 
And then, yeah, so let's go over the articulation real quick for him. So he has a disc, hinge, uh, disc ball joint hinge there. So he can look up that far. He can look down just that far left and right. No, well, just very little hip pivoting there. So those can move out that far. 360 rotation there. The shoulder gets in the way there, or shoulder pad. Single jointed elbows. They go a little past 90 degrees there. You get a little swivel there. Wrist can hinge, I think. Down, nope, side to side. So this one goes side to side now, actually. Down that far, up that far, the guard's kind of getting away there. I forgot to show off the forearm guards, actually, with some damage in there. And then forgot to show off the gauntlet. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, you get the gauntlet here with some red, great detail in there. And this one, he's about to snap at the very end, but then he turns it around and it's empty with no mind stones. Or no infinity stones. My bad. But yeah, that's the gauntlet there. Let's finish off the articulation now. He has an ab crunch there. That goes down that far. Goes up that far. He has a waist swivel, but it won't move. Yeah, that's not moving. Legs kick out that far. Forward that far. Backwards that far. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Ankle skinge down that far. Up that far. Nice cycle pivot. And then we'll do a comparison of the double bladed swords. So this is the new one. Here is the old one with no detailing really at all. You don't get that circular uh, hilt there. This one's kind of like flipped. So this one's a half-assed one. Whereas this one also has gold for the uh, hilt. And it has a little bit of a more sheen look to it. Whereas this one's just matted gray. And then for comparisons, we get the end game Thanos here with the build a figure end game Thanos here and then we'll go over the head sculpt real quick actually so this is the one where I th they definitely copied off of here same old I think it's just a little bit of a repaint with different palettes and I think if you wanted to you can have it so he does not have a gauntlet on maybe if you pop it off there Purples may be a little, little different, but you should be able to pull it off. Yeah, it, it looks a little different, but from far away you won't notice. But yeah, no gauntlet for him. And here is the two-pack Thanos with the five-pack Children of Thanos way, uh, figure there. And then here is the two-pack uh, Thanos right next to the Build-A-Figure Infinity War Thanos. I do not have the three-pack with Doctor Strange and Iron Man Thanos on me because that's expensive now. But yeah, um, that's all I got for Thanos. So yeah, I do recommend you guys get these two figures because they're gonna be hard to find later on. They're a special edition. Uh, this one has a little bit more accessories to add in there for a little extra price with the energy sword, the force field, the three head sculpts, the bow damage, regular Tony Stark head sculpt, and the helmeted one. And then also you get the updated Thanos figure with a uh, damaged armor and a new head sculpt with the three additional ones which were reused I believe and then you get the accurate double bladed sword so yeah that's uh, I think this figure this two pack was worth getting for like 52 bucks 60 dollars so definitely grab some when you find them um, but besides that that's all I got so uh, make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio uh, description it has my TikTok, Twitch uh, PayPal and all that stuff in there. So if you guys want to check it out, please do. But besides that, thanks for watching.